In question 1144, we're asked to provide the mechanism that converts this starting material into this product under these conditions. Again, keeping with our strategy, we're going to classify the starting material. Here we're starting with a secondary alcohol. The product, we're ending up with an alkene that's tetra-substituted. The byproduct of this reaction is water, so that tells us that a dehydration has occurred. So anytime we see an alcohol in the presence of an acid, the first thing we want to do is protonate the alcohol. So in the curved arrow formalism, the arrow starts at the lone pair and ends at the electrophile. We're going to form an oxygen-hydrogen bond. Since we're forming a bond to hydrogen, we have to break a bond. So our anion is going to be A-. minus. So under these conditions, we protonate the secondary alcohol. To get this species here, and notice what I've done. Since we've started under charge neutral conditions, we've ended up in charge neutral conditions. That is to say that plus is balanced by the minus. We don't have an excess of either plus or minus. The next step in this is going to have water as the leaving group. So we're going to break this carbon-oxygen bond. So there's our byproduct water. We still have our counter ion A minus in solution. Now let's classify this intermediate here. So it's a secondary carbon bearing a positive charge, so it's a secondary carbocation. Recall that from organic chemistry one. Anytime you form a carbocation, there is the possibility for it to rearrange. And rearrangements always take place from the beta carbon. If the carbon bearing the positive charge is classified as the alpha carbon, and we look at the substituents of the carbon next door, so here's a beta carbon here, and then over here is a beta carbon as well. We have two possible choices. We can have a hydride shift from this beta carbon over to the carbocation. That's going to exchange one secondary carbocation for another, so that's not going to be favorable. If we look at this beta carbon, it bears two methyl groups. If we shift one of those methyl groups over, we're going from a secondary carbocation to a tertiary carbocation, and that is allowed because a secondary carbocation is more stable than a tertiary carbocation. We have our counter ion, A-, minus. and then if we look at how this structure relates to the product. All we have to do is an elimination. So the final step is an E1 elimination. We're going to have a lone pair of electrons from the counter ion extract the beta hydrogen in the following form. 
and that's going to get us our tetra substituted alkene. So I just briefly want to explain the carbocation stability. So if we consider energy versus coordinate here, and we're looking at this intermediate relative to this intermediate. So here's our secondary carbocation, here's our tertiary carbocation. So when water leaves, it's going up to this energy here. That's higher in energy. However, there's possibility for that carbocation to rearrange to a tertiary carbocation. So that's more stable, and that's why that rearrangement occurs, and we end up with this tetra-substituted alkene.